A new super stretchy polymer material from Stanford University can heal itself at room temperature and could lead to self-healing electronic circuits as well as electronic skin for prosthetics and robots. And EPFL scientists have proposed a new model for understanding how the brain processes information, suggesting that stimulus is processed unconsciously and then perceived consciously in 400 millisecond intervals called time slices. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. Tesla Phoresis causes nanowire to remotely assemble using a force field. A Tesla coil designed by researchers from Rice University oscillates positive and negative charges in each carbon nanotube, which causes them to chain together. They created a functioning circuit connecting two LEDs that is powered by the Tesla coil field. It's the first time electric fields have been observed moving matter on a large scale, and they believe this could lead to breakthroughs in regenerative medicine and artificial systems that can self-assemble with without physical contact. Skin Haptics uses ultrasound to provide tactile feedback for interfaces on your hand. The array emits ultrasound through the back of the hand to create sensation in a focused point of the palm. The prototype is admittedly large, but they're already working on a significantly smaller version, with the plan one day to implement this alongside flexible screen technology to turn your hand into an interactive electronic device which could pair quite nicely with ultra-flexible organic photonic skin. The Smart eSkin system, developed at the University of Tokyo, allows for a two-color logo display as well as a red seven-segment digital display. Along with being a display that's one order magnitude thinner than the epidermal layer of skin, the plan is for this to also monitor health by measuring oxygen levels in the blood. Challenges to further development include protecting the e-skin from being destroyed and finding a power source like flexible batteries or the energy from harvesting your body heat. A neural bypass is allowing a man to retrain his paralyzed hand. In 2014, researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center implanted a chip in Ian Burkhardt's brain, an algorithm that translates his thoughts into impulses for a sleeve on his arm, bypassing his spinal cord. In less than two years of working with and training this system, he's gone from picking up a spoon to playing Guitar Hero and swiping credit cards, and they're confident this system could help stroke victims as well as differently Abled people in the future. We may be one step closer to functional smart clothes. Researchers at Ohio State University were able to embroider circuits into fabric with 0.1 millimeter precision, a perfect size to incorporate sensors and memory devices into clothes. Further development could see smartphone antennas in shirts, performance monitoring sports equipment, and even bandages that can tell your doctor how tissue is healing. The best part is that the embroidered wires feel the same as typical thread. Mindblow 43 back in June 2012 featured Jogobot, a drone designed to accompany joggers by using tracking markers on a special t-shirt. Well, Scottio is a new drone that autonomously follows bikers and joggers while avoiding obstacles without requiring special clothing. It uses a multi-camera array and onboard computing to map and plan its navigation rather than simply reacting to things it might crash into. While this is just a prototype, their goal is to bring it to consumers and in their words, create a magical experience. Finally, check out this new augmented reality demo from Magic Leap. This video is shot through the mixed reality technology. I'm going to leave you with an animation from NASA on the future of space exploration, and as always, thanks for watching. Fingertip shopping will be one of the many homemaker's conveniences. This video console will be channeled into the store of her choice. There, a camera will scan a display of wares, which she will select by push button. What the wife selects on her console will be paid for by the husband at his counterpart console. All bills and transactions will be carried out electronically. Also at his disposal is an electronic correspondence machine, or home post office which allows for instant written communication between individuals anywhere in the world.